Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Mark Fry. I work at General Motors in the uh, Advanced Development Concept Group for uh, Global Connected Consumer. Okay. And this is the new OnStar uh, connected by platform. Exactly, with the uh, App Shop, Chevrolet App Shop, and the various apps that we've uh, currently been developing with ourselves and third-party developers. Okay, so uh, obviously there's some familiar names there, like uh, TuneIn, NPR, the Weather Channel. Exactly. Uh, but there's also something kind of maybe people won't be so familiar with, like the, the vehicle. Yes, uh, the vehicle health monitoring app. We developed that in-house and it's designed to kind of take the next step of uh, bringing vehicle health information to the user. Yeah, go ahead and touch it there and it'll pull up. And so currently we have the, the OnStar OVD email and then uh, you can also call your advisor and they can pull up information as well. Uh, but this allows the, the consumer to pull it up uh, real time when they want to when they want to view it. It's uh, currently right now we have diagnostics, maintenance, and service. Mm -hmm. um, diagnostics, if the uh, owner wants to check, they push on there and it basically goes into a cycle of checking uh, any issues and you see all systems okay. Um, goes through there, no reporting, no issues. And then um, there's a maintenance button as well. And you can go in here and check your oil life, um, your miles, and then based on your on your miles, it'll tell you what your next service, objective service will be, and then of course the tire pressures as well. So this kind of gives a high level overview to people that makes them more comfortable about their vehicle, and, uh, and then that, for instance, if they're going on a long trip or, or things like that, you know, people want to make sure their car is in tip top shape. That's for the that's for the button, for the preset radio buttons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so this is obviously taking advantage of the 4G connectivity, which you it does. And now. Now, as Tim said in the presentation, um, you know, the vehicle health app, because it's connected to the car, mm -hmm. uh, this part doesn't need connectivity. You know, where we do get into connectivity, and I'll show you uh, that in a second, is, um, you know, since I can't run out and, um, oops, wrong phone. I can't run out every time and, uh, and break a light bulb or uh, or lower the tire pressure. <laughs> We've actually created a little uh, uh, director app that, if you watch the screen here, um, I can uh, I can change the um, the tire pressure to say, okay, this is what it looks like now. Um, what the consumer will see is their app getting changed to yellow from the normal blue. And so now the uh, vehicle health, uh, so not only will they get a message here, but they'll get a message here. And of course, we're working out the UI for this type of information. What's the best way to tell the consumer that something's going wrong? So so here they have a maintenance, and uh, you know, we also have a, a version for very low tire pressure, and dangerously low. Okay, So you know they, they can look at here, and then it'll, it'll uh, come up with uh, you know, what, what the recommended action is, and what the recommend PSI is what the tire is currently and then they should do something about it so I'll, I'll turn that off right now the other version we have is say a light bulb breaks and you know unless you're unless you're running the car and walking around the car you don't see that so here we, we have a light bulb that just went out and say okay well what do I do about it so you go to diagnostics it gives you the recommended action he's like I don't know how to change a light bulb and I don't have time to do it so I'm going to schedule a service to do that so here's where the connectivity comes in so now we have a preferred dealer uh, Dean Chevrolet and I want to schedule an appointment with them so I hit the schedule button so here's the available times I think I'm, I'm available in the afternoon now, they got a 430 appointment I love to go at that time because it's after work and uh, didn't like my finger oh there we go so now I confirm and here's where we have the, uh, again, the finger. So now it's scheduled. And I just got a vehicle health alert scheduled appointment. So now I can put this in my calendar on my phone and, uh, and it will remind me when I need that appointment. Or if I decide, you know what, I'll just do it myself. I'll figure out how to change my own light bulb. And I just canceled the appointment. And now it sends me an alert that the, that the appointment was canceled. So, so that's where the connectivity comes. Mm -hmm. Now, we're in the process of developing this app, and there's so many things we could do with it. You know, we uh, we're uh, you know experimenting and playing around, and you know, doing the sandbox thing with these type of things and learning a lot. One of the things we've learned is that a lot of vehicle information is temporal, and so uh, you know, seeing a trend or seeing type of thing is very helpful, and putting trend information in, in, in the app as well would could be potentially helpful to a consumer. So uh, we're looking at doing something with that. But th this is our way of learning as well to you know now that we have this wonderful system to be able to interact with the consumer on this level we can, we can do a lot of great things brilliant thank you